You can find them at, 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 at Giggle Fits uh, Emporium uh, on exit 21. Uh, but please give a warm Lincoln Lodge welcome to my dear friend Daryl Spencer. Yeah. First time here, so a little Woo! bit. Oh, yeah. My girlfriend, she likes dirty sex, so I sneezed on her. She said, Bless you, I came. <laughs> my girlfriend, though, she's bisexual, so when she calls me a pussy, she told me that means she still loves me. <laughs> my girlfriend, though, she's also bilingual, so she said when she calls me a pendejo, that means she still loves me. <laughs> Does anybody know what that means? She's bipolar, we don't care. <laughs> but I started dating my girlfriend like three or four years ago. It was during the height of COVID. And like a good guy, I had to go and meet her family, right? They're all from the deep south. And I had to ask her dad, I'm like, why are you guys so against the whole mask thing? He's like, how am I gonna wear a mask and a hood? At the <laughs> I get it, like, protect, protect your identity, not your immune system. <laughs> I mean, I get it though, he's like the judge down there, so it makes sense. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys, he's just a deacon. <laughs> hey, trying that in a small town is what he's doing. <laughs> now, something else about me, though, I get fired a lot. That's <laughs> actually why I started doing stand up. <laughs> well, my first job, though, I used to be a CNA, right? They didn't tell me when I got the job, though, that all the old ladies have STDs. <laughs> So I just ended up getting chlamydia and fired. <laughs> My most recent job, though, I'm making $15 an hour, right? And when you make that kind of money, you just hear stupid shit because I'm stupid. So it was whatever. So I'm sitting there working. This guy comes to me. He's like, Daryl, I'm done drinking Bud Light. It's not going to turn me gay. And I think to myself, tequila, two shots usually turns me gay. <laughs> This guy weighs 350 pounds. 350 pounds, and he's worried about trans women? <laughs> you should be worried about the trans fats. <laughs> then I'm gonna sit on the and that's how blood light turns you gay. <laughs> but uh, since my, my ex-girlfriend, her parents were racist, I had to leave her, so I went on a bunch of these apps, and I found out the different apps you download, right, you can find the type of women you want, right? You want a girl who's super gullible, she'll believe anything you say, just put it in red text. Christian Mingle. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Super cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I found, I'm into big girls, and I found the app where you can find the big girls at. You guys know what app that is? DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Every time, guys. <laughs> Biggest order, smallest tip. Trashy white girl. Every time. <laughs> Every time. It's killer. It's easy. <laughs> Obviously, you guys can see that I'm mixed. Like, growing up, though, I thought I had to do, like, mixed people shit, right? That's, like, white people shit and black people shit, right? Like, for instance, I go out and I play cornhole. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, Kobe! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was funny, thank you. <laughs> Keeping that one, guys. <laughs> Like, you know, like, I'll be robbing people, but only for a land. <laughs> That's a joke about Christopher Columbus, guys. <laughs> yeah, he's a lot of land, guys. <laughs> but um, I'm going to tell you guys some personal things about me. Um, when my mom was pregnant, she used to do drugs, right? So when I was born, they told me that I was addicted to crack, right? And, like, so I think rehab is for bitches. Because <laughs> imagine a baby going through a 12-step program. <laughs> He hasn't even taken his first 12 steps. <laughs> Everybody's like telling you to put down the bottle. Like, this is the only thing I don't want to drink out of. <laughs> they didn't even give me a chip at the end, guys. They told me it was a choking hazard. <laughs> so if anybody's got a chip in here, I'm looking for it. <laughs> yeah. But being born addiction drugs, it's obvious that I was adopted because like crackheads can't be moms, right? <laughs> At least not good ones. But going through like foster, <laughs> going through like foster the system though, it was like really tough trying to catch on the sling because at any time you could be with a different family, right? At one point I'm living with the white family. They're talking about 23 and me. I thought that was slang for a gangbang. <laughs> it's not, guys. I recently took 23 and me. Turns out I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> 
That's a Harry Potter joke, because Hufflepuffs can't be black guys. <laughs> I didn't write that one, J.K. Rowling. <laughs> Yeah, like one point, like I'm living with the black family, right? They're talking about shadow boxing. I thought that was just some two black guys fall in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, guys. <laughs> it's not, I'm serious, it's not. Uh, <laughs> uh, my best friend, he recently did come out and tell me he was gay. Guys, give it up for him. <laughs> he didn't want me to be mad, I was pissed. I waited 18 years for a blowjob. I don't think I could have been practicing, right? <laughs> I never heard of friends with benefits. <laughs> That's a bad friend. He watched me go to that struggle. <laughs> he, watched me, he watched me go to that bullshit. <laughs> but, <laughs> but being born to dick drugs like really did come with the shorts coming. Cause like all through high school I wrote the short bus. My mom, she wanted me to feel better about it. She told me that the big bus just had the big retards on it. <laughs> Turns out to be true guys. I'm from Elkhart, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> you too? Talk later. <laughs> so you're from Elkhart? No, I'm from Chicago. Yeah. Oh, okay, alright. It's fine. I just go to Elkhart sometimes. <laughs> hey, but people, one guy was somebody was like, you can't say that. And I'm like, that's like telling Michael Jackson he can't say nigga. Like, I'm sorry we beat it. <laughs> it's a slow one. <laughs> hey, yeah, but um, I love taking edibles because I feel like edible is like being in a relationship with the cop, you know, like you never know when it's gonna hit you. <laughs> but it will 10 out of 10 times, guys. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm a bartender, you guys have to trust me. Right, that's my newest job working at a dispensary. Hey, give it up for me. Woo yeah. Yeah, it's, it's awesome working at a dispensary because like you guys all know weed's medical, right? <laughs> Woo. I thought that same thing until I got the job at the dispensary. Found out I don't get health insurance. <laughs> no matter how many edibles I take, the video won't go away. <laughs> Just keep on forgetting about it. <laughs> People come in asking the stupid questions. The stupidest questions were at the dispensary, though. They're like, oh, you must just be high all day, right? And like, you think your eye doctor is like dilating his eyes all day? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like, you think you're gynecologist all day? <laughs> all day, his fingers will be wrinkly. Oh, wait, you can't do that. <laughs> For me, I am high all day, guys. I'm, I'm high shit all day. My boss just says I'm not allowed to be, so whatever, you know? But um, I have a daughter, so give it up for me, guys. And it's really cool, because my daughter, she's biracial like me, so like I want to set a different agenda, right? I don't have like a role to play. And like she came to me the other day, and she's like, Dad, do you think Santa's white or black? <laughs> Obviously, Santa's black, guys. <laughs> Works one day out of the year, come on. <laughs> Breaks in your house. <laughs> It makes sense. <laughs> Dating a fat white girl. <laughs> Mrs. Claus, what the fuck, guys? I actually think Santa might be Nick Cannon, guys. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> people, um, people at my job, though, they come into me and they're like, "Man, you act white." And at first, I was like, hmm, kind of offended. But then I thought about it, and I was like, hmm, I do be saying nigga a lot. <laughs> <laughs> It's making people really uncomfortable. Call me Chad, shit. <laughs> hey, call me Chad. <laughs> but my girlfriend, she's uh, she's been telling me lately that if I loved her, that I would let her peg me. Nobody else? <laughs> Guess I got tricked, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you about it anyway, though. So I go on Reddit, you know, I find out how it's supposed to be done, you know, so I'm bent over. I turn around, she has a black dick. <laughs> I've heard about those. You're not about to have me limping for weeks, Jamal. No way. No way. So I'm romantic, so he went to the dick store. There's all different kind of dicks to choose from. It was crazy. It was like Mexican dicks, white dicks. Not doing a white dick. We know about those guys. It's this big. You might as well not even do it, right? We choose on a uh, purple dick, though. It's like. Barney's dick would be purple, right? <laughs> Barney loves everybody. That's not gay at all, right? Oh yeah, that's my time tonight, guys. Thank you. <laughs>